Hello my friends and welcome back to another Canva tutorial. Today we're going to talk about something new and a new feature on Canva called uh, Typecraft. Now what Typecraft does is, is it shapes text. It bends it, it, it warps it, it twists it to make it fit a certain shape. So without further um, delay, let's get right into creating something with Typecraft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom image that is, or a custom workspace that is 2000 by 2000. And I am going to look for a uh, bullhorn. Um, so I guess I'm just going to use that one, this bullhorn right here. I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to look for the, I've got Typecraft right here, but if you don't find, if you don't see it there, just go into apps and in here, just type in Typecraft and it should come up and then you can just click it and use it. So I'm going to, in here is where you type the text that you want to design. I'm going to type hello and over here you can choose a font. I'm just going to choose that font. I'm going to keep it simple. Um, here you can choose um, how to style your text. So you can have a solid text. You can have um, an outline with uh, unfilled inside text or you can have uh, outline text um, with uh, an interior color. Um, I'm just going to choose the regular, um, the regular style so that there's no style here. And I'm going to try and match it up with the gold that um, is on there already. So I'm just going to bring that up there and that's fine. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this to my uh, workspace just so that I can get an idea of Okay, you know, how does it fit? I'm going to just twist it a little bit like that using the little arrow buttons. And now I'm going to come back here and with Typecraft, basically you're just moving these um, points to shape it, um, uh, to, to, to warp it and shape it into the form that um, you are uh, that you have on your workspace. So basically you click and you move the points. And you just keep moving them until you kind of get the shape that you're looking for. Now it does take a little bit of trial and error so once you're done shaping, you can come down here and you can say update element and it'll update the element. And um, you can see here that it's not exactly, you know, uh, aligned with the shape. But like I said, it, it does take a little bit of practice. So you can come back here and you can just try and shape it again. There, I'm going to update the element again, and there we go. And I could just use a little bit more shaping in there. I'm just going to bring that like that. And I'm going to see if I can just bring that up a little bit more and bring it down a little bit more. And then just expand those a little bit. Don't you think this is super cool? I think this is neat. This is really neat. Update that again. Okay, and I think I've just gotten a little bit too, too much. I've stretched it too much now. So 
just going to bring that down a little bit. I guess you get the idea. You just you can just stretch it until you get the shape that you want. Okay. So um, before we go, I'm just going to add a background. And um, um, you know, if there's anything that you want to see in any of the other tutorials, please leave me a comment in the bottom um, section where the comments are, uh, where you can request something. I'm going to also um, here just create a reflection uh, quickly and I can do that just by making a copy of this um, bullhorn. I am going to ed edit or I'm going to flip it first. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to uh, edit it and see if I can um, change the color. I guess what I can do is I can just use duotone to make it um, a grayscale and then I could just turn down the transparency. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to put that there. And now I'm going to add a gradient so I can get a better reflection. So what you can do is you can just search for a gradient and all these gradients um, will uh, come up. And you can just choose one that um, suits what you're doing. And I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. Okay, and there you go. There we got a reflection. We've got our type craft and we've got our bullhorn. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to be the first to know when there is some really cool content um, that's come out on the channel. Okay, take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, my friends.